Exodus chapter 24, verse 1. And Michael, the prince of wisdom, said to Moshe on the seventh day of the month, Come up before Yahweh, thou and Aaron, Nadab and Abahu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and worship at a distance. And Moshe alone shall approach before Yahweh, but they shall not draw nigh, nor may the people come up with them. And Moshe set before the people all the words of Yahweh and all the judgments. So we're here already now. Yahweh has already given all the judgments. This is how we think. So that's a blanket. If you have that blanket of thought, right? If this is your thought process, so from Exodus 19 all the way through now to Exodus, the end of Exodus 23, that's your judgment. That is the judgments of Yah. If you think like this, this this is your thought process, and you go about thinking on this, this will keep you straight. Meditate on this day and night. It ain't that much, is it? It's just an overview. Now, there's a bunch of, you can see like, hey, there's a bunch of space in here, room for uh, other understandings, but the Most High is going to flesh those out as we continue all the way through the Deuteronomy. So, these are the judgments. These are the things you think about day in, day out. Okay, this is coming. This is supposed to happen. This is supposed to happen. This is supposed to, the Most High is going to do this. The Most High is going to do that. This is your blanket. This is your thought process. This is your mentality. Nope, don't go after the many to do wicked. Don't do it. Don't do it. Nope. Judgment sides. The judgment sides with the law. The judgment sides with the law. Oh, man, you poor and you wrong. Look, you're going to get this punishment. This is your mentality. So these are the judgments. And all the people answered with one voice and said, All that Yahweh hath spoken, we will do. So the people have given a word of affirmation to accept the law and the judgments, the commandments and the law. They've, they've affirmed this. And Moshe wrote the words of the law and the rose in the morning and builded an altar at the lower part of the mountain and 12 pillars for the 12 tribes of Israel. Right? And he sent the firstborn of the sons of Israel. Pay attention. Exodus chapters 24 verse 5. Important. And he sent the firstborns of Israel. For until that hour had the firstborns had the office of performing worship. The tabernacle of ordinance not as yet being made. Nor the priesthood given unto Aaron. And they offered burnt offerings and consecrated oblations of oxen before Yahweh. You see? The order of the Malkitzedic at this moment is about to end. The end. Exodus chapter 24 verse 5. So this is the end of the Malkitzedic order. And the beginning of of the Aaronic priesthood, the Levitical priesthood. See, right here, Exodus 24. Now it doesn't go back, it doesn't switch back. There's no flip flopping. This is forever. And we'll get to that later. This is perpetual. And Moshe took half of the blood of the offering and put it in a basin, and half of the blood of the offering he sprinkled on the altar. And the book of the covenant of the law. And read before the people, and they said, All the words which Yahweh has spoken, we will perform and obey. So he took the entirety of the book of the covenant of law, which the Most High spoke with ten words. Right? In ten words, he summarized the entirety of the covenant of the law with clarity and pitch perfect understanding. All of these extra words are just explaining what the understanding was of the Most High's ten words. That's how magnificent the Most High is. And the people saw the words. It flew overhead and winged over. I read that and you can go back to uh, videos uh, one and proceed and you'll see the words flew over. The mountain went up in the air. Ooh, it was a, a, a devastating thing. So now here are the people affirming upon the reading of 
these, this book of the covenant of the law, you see, the book of the covenant of the law and read before the people the same way I'm reading it to you now. So now it's being read. So, and you're saying all that the Yahweh has, has spoken, we will perform and obey. Now, and Moshe took half of the blood which was in the basins and sprinkled it upon the altar to expiate the people and said, Behold, this is the blood of the covenant which Yahweh has made with you upon all these words. And Moshe, Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and 70 evangels of Israel went up, and Nadab and Abihu lifted up their eyes and saw the glory of, of the God of Israel and under the footstool of his feet which was placed beneath his throne was like the work of a sapphire stone a memorial of the servitude with which the Misra'i had made the children of Israel to serve in clay and bricks what time there were women treading clay with their husbands the delicate young woman with child was also there and made a and, and made abortive by being beaten down with the clay and thereof did Gabriel descend made brick and going up to the heavens on high set it a footstool under the cathedral of Yahweh of the world whose splendor was as the work of a precious stone and as the power of the beauty of the heavens when they are clear from the clouds but Nadab upon but upon Nadab and Abihu the comely young men was the stroke not sent in that hour but it waited on them but it waited them on the eighth day for a retribution to destroy them but they saw the glory of the Shekinah of Yahweh and rejoiced that their oblations were received with favor and so did eat and drink. <clears throat> so Nadab and Abihu is the beginning of their demise. They went up. Now Moses, Moses told them, y'all stay at a distance. Don't come up here. Don't draw close. They lifted up their eyes and they saw the glory. They went up there anyway. And eight days later they died. Now we'll get there when we get down into numbers because it gives you more details. It starts back and it starts to move forward and progress through time. Right? So they made strange fire. Right? And then the fires hit them. Now remember, the Most High's judgment was whoever encroaches upon this boundary will be killed with fire. And he did it eight days later to Nadab and Abihu. They got struck with fire and went in, you know, the fire killed them. So, the, the Most High is not playing. All right? And the Lord said to Moshe, You sin before me at the mount. And I will give thee there three tables of stone on which I have set forth the rest of the words of the law. The rest of the words of the law. Right? On three tables of stone. The rest of them. So you have the commandments and the judgments, which is how you think. The rest of the law is the complete explanation. So all the rest of the books are explaining the law from Leviticus through Deuteronomy you see because here we're getting the overview of what happened you have the, the commandments and the judgments how you think and then you're gonna have the rest of this of Exodus that they're gonna start to build the most highest precious things and name them as they go what they are called and, and, and what it does and who does what but in Leviticus he's going to start explaining Leviticus numbers and Deuteronomy is going to explain the the execution of the law along with stories about what went wrong and how different judgments come into play you see so he says 
I set forth the tables of stone on, on which I have set forth the rest of the words of the law and the 613 precepts which I have written for their instructions. Ta-da! Where did 613 come from? It came from right here. Exodus 24 and 12. Hidden. Because you know these people ain't figured nothing out. Most High ain't never spoke to them. But the 613 precepts which I have written for their instruction. Alright, I'll be back with another video picking up on verse 13.